Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? This is your boy Nate Gaming, and welcome back to my channel today, guys. So today we are back on GTA 5 for probably one of the best tunables update we probably have ever had for a very long while. Actually, probably for a good long while. Um, today the Shitaro or Nagasaki Sh Shitaro, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, has just came out. And, um, it's basically the, uh, Tron bike, so, you know what, I'm just gonna call it the Tron bike from here on out, because it's just a really hard bike to call. But, to, uh, get, to obtain this Tron bike, you need to do an adversary mode, so, we're going to, uh, load in. I figured I'd just start off right here from the loading screen, just load right on in. Um, but, yeah, this is something that people have been really wanting for a long time, um, it's been known about through the community that this Tron bike does exist in the game so people have been waiting for it to come out and I've heard actually no heard I played the game mode already because uh, as I've said in previous videos I hate going into a game mode or even in fact a game and not knowing what to do I'm looking like a dumbass so I use so what I usually do is I usually go into the game first and play it, see what it is, see how it is, and then show it off to you guys. So I know what I'm doing. Because I hate going into game modes or even any new games and not knowing what the heck to do. So, also, um, I'm not a little political guy, but um, happy election day. Um, I hope everybody, the people that you guys um, vote for, um, hopefully um, you guys get the people that you voted for. But I'm, like I said, I'm not a political guy, so I'm not really going to go into that. But yeah, happy election day. So anyways, with these Tron bikes also comes some really, really, really cool outfits. Really cool. And I'm just, just really, really, really excited for this. Um, also, I think that now this Tron bike, now that it's been released, it might be the fastest bike in the game. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. But I do know it has a crazy, ridiculous price, at least $2 million or something crazy like that. So, you know, we're going to see. But, like I said, to um, unlock the Tron bike, you actually have to do the new adversary mode that just came out today called Deadline. Now, it's fairly, fairly easy. And I have to say, it's probably one of the best game modes that or adversary modes that Rockstar has ever released, I'll be honest with you. Because a lot of the adversary modes are iffy and, you know, kind of boring. And if they're not, they're a little bit, you know, you know, OP to one's team. Like the newest one that just came out, Lost vs. Damned. Very, very, very OP game mode. Um, One of the reasons is, is because when you're the angel, you get a big advantage compared to being a devil that when the day and night cycle changes you're gonna get thunder and lightning and all that other stuff I, I, it's, it's really hard to explain all right let's turn this off right, there you are. okay we gotta mute you or maybe not hold up Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just we'll just mute him in there. So this is the really cool Tron outfit. Unfortunately, I've been given pink. Oh my gosh. Ew. I don't, I don't like pink. I mean, I know it's a girl character, but no, nah, pink, pink don't work. Pink don't work for me. I gotta mute you. Shut up. I can't even mute him. But yeah, these are the cool. Um, outfits that we get once we uh, finish doing this uh, game mode. So um, I'm going to start up. Okay, we're gonna mute this guy. Just need to mute him. Alright. So, here we are. Okay, ooh. Look at that. I've already killed somebody without even showing you what to do. Alright, so it's pretty simple and easy. Now, see this long ass line that's coming around me? Basically, you gotta avoid that. 
or at least other players have to avoid that. Like right now, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna come around to somebody. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can block him in. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I basically blocked him in. It's basically like Snake. If you ever played Snake on those, uh, remember those old little uh, phones that we used to have back in the day? It's basically like Snake. And if you know the rule of Snake, you can't go into the path of the Snake. So that's basically what this is. Basically. Also, you get some get some power ups that which are like power play just a little bit. And on top of that, you get this awesome bike to ride on. Um, now I don't actually know how I died from that. But anyways, once you do all, once you, um, like, the number of times that you died, like, see on the side of my screen right now, like, I'm in the lead. So, the, pe the people who die the least win the game mode. And then, of course, if you don't do, it's gonna be like, um, how you say, like, um, that sumo, uh, match or whatever, where, um, it's kind of like a, um, I don't even know. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh. Do note, you can't slow down either. But it's like, it's like the, um, but at the end, if, uh, two, if both people are still alive, or two players are still alive, it's gonna end up like the sumo, uh, adversary mode where, um, you know, last person who's alive, uh, who stays in the circle wins, so... And that one's really tricky, especially on these bikes that you can't even stop. Let's see, so he's dead. Alright. Let's see if we can block this guy in. See, we're gonna chase him down. Cause I don't, I don't feel like doing the very crazy, um, you know, last death. What? Mm, I don't know how he survived that. He literally went through my line. But yeah, this is kind of cool. This is like, this is basically like Tron, basically, and it's really cool. I like it. Woo! He didn't see that one coming, did he? Alright, we're gonna... I don't know how many rounds this is. You know, they might just do this the whole entire video, or might just cut some of it out. Who knows, who knows. Let's see, we're gonna go over here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yes, thank you, thank you. Whoa, no, 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 yes. All right, he only has like one more life left and it's over. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is a pretty fairly, e this is like a fairly easy um, game mode. It's really kind of fun. I really like it. I really think it's probably the best game mode that Rockstar has probably ever produced. go we have won this um we won the adversary mode deadline that's only a round that's only like what round one i don't even know how many rounds are on here right now but we're gonna you know we're gonna play for all of them and after this we're gonna show you the bike because after this you unlock the bike and the outfits so let's see we're gonna do another round of this but this is this is the type of game modes I like. See, this is this is when you know Rockstar really put you know some real thought into some of these game modes. Because unlike Lost and Dan, I highly doubt they put any type of thought into that. You know how OP it can be when it comes to being a devil or the angel. Wow. Yeah, I just I just did not have the speed to uh, pull out in front of him. Let's see, um, let's go get that lightning bolt. 
Well, this just made it a little bit easier. One of, one of the guys just quit. Which is funny, because he's the one who just literally killed me, so... See if we can. See if we can kind of lock that guy in. Now yeah, he committed suicide, so that's good enough for me. I'll take that. Let's lock him in. You see, right there, you have no choice but to go. And also, when you um, let off the gas, you actually literally don't stop. You actually still keep going. See, he has no choice but to go in there. He's, this is fairly easy, actually. Let me see. Now, I think this power-up lets me bunny hop, so let's see how effective it is. Ooh, very effective. He's literally killing himself. This might actually be very- this might be a fairly easy, uh, uh, match to go through. Where is he gonna spawn? Uh, there he is. Let's see, can we cut him off? No, let's, let's go around. Hopefully I can go through here. Yes, I can. Yep, I am just killing this kid. He has one more life. If he, if he loses, I think we might have this game mode. Yep, it's over. That was so easy. That was so freaking easy. Oh my gosh. And there you go. That is Deadline. The adversary mode. So, um, we're gonna cut the video and, um, I'm gonna head over to free mode. And, uh, hopefully show you guys the awesome, um, stuff that I got. Actually, you know what? No, you know what? Fuck it, you know. I won't even, um, I won't even cut it. I'll just, you know, just stay on here. I was going to cut the video short, you know, make it a little bit easier, but we might actually be able to go in there a little bit faster, but, yeah, that's pretty simple, that's how the game mode works, you know, it's a pretty cool game mode, I will have to say, and I'm um, also, it's double money and RP on this uh, game mode for, I don't know how long, but it is, so if, um, if you need some money or something like that, I would jump on this right now. But yeah, really, really, just really cool game mode. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm probably going to be playing this game mode just a little bit longer after this video, so. I will be having some fun with this. Uh, so, let me see. We had eight vehicles, I think, that were hidden in the game files. So far, at least five or six of them, or even, yeah, probably, yeah, six of them are probably already came out already, so, we have two more left, I think a van and a bike, so, let's hope we can, uh, get those, um, those are probably gonna come out on Tuesday, so, let me see, I'm guessing the van's probably gonna come out next week, and the bike is probably gonna come out on the other week, and then we'll just have to see what we have in store for December, besides the Christmas DLC that we've all, that we all know is probably gonna be regenerated into the map of Grand Theft Auto Online. Alright, so, first of all, do that, do that, okay, so, let me see. Um, did we unlock it? it? Didn't tell me I unlocked it. Hmm. Hasn't really told. Mm, hasn't told me I unlocked it yet. Hmm. Well, I, I'm assuming we unlocked it, so um, we're gonna go over here 
And it's not in here. So maybe it's in maybe it's in here. Ah, there we go. Two million two hundred twenty five thousand dollars for this bike. Holy crap. That is a lot of money for a bike. I, actually, in fact, let me see. Let me mm, Yeah, that's a lot of money for a bike. I was gonna say because I know um yeah the proto is probably the most expensive thing in the game at two million or at least an expensive car or road vehicle at like two million seven hundred so that's crazy that that's that's pretty pretty crazy to be honest with you um all right so I guess it doesn't really matter what color we put it as although I do want it in a color that's gonna stick out so at least we get to see it and. Fortunately, if I'm right, which I think I am, it's not dark anymore. Now, where am I going to put this? I don't know. I don't know. I might need this. I might need to um get rid of some of these bikes. You know what? I'll get rid. Of, I'll get rid of that bike. And the only reason I'm getting rid of that bike because I don't use it that much. All right, so we're gonna go over to the clothing store and see if we unlocked these clothes also I think a regular shirt is also unlocked too so is that's so like the bike and the Tron outfits are not the only thing that get unlocked when you do the adversary mode I'm um, gonna see uh, what is the closest clothing store I don't, I don't usually come on this side of town damn it I'll get right down the street So we're gonna make our way all the way down over here. Jeez, that clothing store seems like it's far away. clothing store I'm gonna go and pass them on so people won't mess with me because I know I hate that when I walk outside and I see a whole bunch of sticky bombs sitting on my car all right so yep there they are and look at that drawn out Wow wait wait hold up how many zeros is that two four so it's like two hundred dollars for Wow. So, if you want to buy these outfits, you gotta pay $200 for each outfit. And that's pretty crazy. Assume, also assuming that you probably, and I 100% uh, confirmed that probably with the way Rockstar is, you're probably not going to be able to uh, mitch match this um, outfit with, you know, like, say, you know, uh, take away the outfit, keep the shoes, or, you know, take away the um, the shoes... Or keep the helmet and stuff like that. I don't think that would be possible at all. But that's two hundred dollars for an outfit. So um, if I were you, I'd probably pick my probably my favorite color and just buy that and just buy it once because that's a lot of money for an outfit. Yeah, that's even compared to the biker outfits, which are like this is probably the most expensive one. Actually, no, this one is. Yeah, this one is. This one's probably the most expensive one, which is almost a hun a hundred thousand dollars. So that's yeah, pretty crazy. I mean, Rockstar likes their shark cards. I will say that Rockstar likes their shark cards. Well, because I have a whole bunch of money, I'm gonna buy each and every one of these outfits. Um, you know what though? Hmm, I might stay with the green. Yeah, I might stay with the green because it is my favorite color. All right, now there is. Now let me see. Hold up. Now let me see if I can find that shirt. I think it says uh, Nagasaki on it, right? If I'm right. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna show it off anyway. Manufactured logos, and I think it might be this. And I don't think I've ever seen this before. So yeah, it might. This might be the shirt. Yeah. So if you do that, you unlock this shirt as well. All right. So our bike just got delivered. Let's get out passive mode and go into my MC club that 
some reason will not pop up. There we go. I'm still in passive mode apparently. But look at this outfit though. Now, it, luckily for us, it's about to get dark very soon. Not exactly, you know, you know, dark very quickly, but it is getting, you know, pretty dark. So we're gonna send this vehicle back. And um, I'm a little bit sick. Sorry, guys. Um, where it is Shitaro. Look at that. Hold up. Look at this thing right here. Let's get a first person view on this. Well, okay, obviously it's all orange because that's the way we ordered it, which is kind of weird. I would have thought, you know, would have gave us a different secondary color. You know, at least like a black color or something, but I guess not. But look at that. I mean, just, just look at that, though. I mean, the way it glows at night and stuff. Now, I know, I mean, this is not the darkest map in the game. To be honest with you, there's a lot of lighting, even out in the desert, so. And some, ooh, look at that. Hold it, let's stay in there for a second. Look at that glow. Even without the lights. Now, if I'm right, I think if you get off the bike, yeah, the lights turn off, okay. So let's see, we have a green outfit and riding an orange bike, so uh, let's all uh, go and make that match now. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm too far away from my micro garage, so we're just going to go to the Los Santos Customs. But this bike is really fast, though. It really gets up. It really, really gets up, though. Hold up, we're going to... um. Go up in here. I'm gonna customize this bike live. You know, I haven't done one of these in a while. Hmm, fix it. I don't know what damage we inflicted on it in like, the, like less than a mile from coming from here to there. All right, so upgrade everything. Everything. Now I'm gonna keep these off. For a specific reason, because I did see, um, I did happen to see one of my friend's bikes earlier, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let me see now. First, every color. I'm trying to remember which color actually lights up. I actually don't remember. Okay, yeah, I think it's this color that lights up. So we're gonna put lime green to match this green. We're gonna put the first dairy color. Um, we actually might put matte black. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Um, crew logo. Actually, you know it. And yeah, we'll keep that off for right now. Turbo, which makes this bike even more faster than it is. Okay, now, the reason I did this <coughs> and uh, took the mug flats off for this one particular reason, I wanted to make sure this actually works. What the? Okay, I guess I need both tires then. I keep on forgetting about that. There we go. The white walls. I like that. All right, so we um we can take we can put the white walls on. Um, oh, comes with bulletproof tires already. All right, so uh, this two million dollar bike comes with two with uh, bulletproof tires. So I guess that's I guess a little bit worth it. I guess I don't know. Um, let's see. We're gonna keep it. Too bad it's not light green or lime green. I know it's green, but it's not lime green. Something I really wanted. Okay, we're gonna put these back on. There we go. And look at that. I think that's all the customizations we can do. Which um it's fair. It's a bike. And on top of that, the glow in the dark lights kind of make up for not so many customizations. Look at this. Look at this thing. Yo, this is nice. Hold up. Yo, let's, uh, let's turn this thing on. Hold up. Um, that. Also kinda, I also kind of find that funny. I can remotely turn on my bike, even though it's not a car, but whatever. Look at that. That's crazy. I, I really like that. I really like that a lot. That's really cool. 
this is the way it glows in the dark and stuff like that. Headlights. Uh, not really a big difference. You know, just, you know, illuminate or let you see where you're going. Alright, so let's uh, take this thing for a, uh, a ride around the park. I guess you can sort of say. Hold up. Okay, let's go. This thing is just really, really, really cool to see. Look at that. It is fairly, fairly fast, I will say that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> I think it might be a little bit too fast. I can barely control it, man. Damn. Well, let's try it again. Look at this, yo. The Nagasaki Shitaro, also known as the Tron Bike. Um, just Rockstar just keeps on surprising us with just way, way, way more DLC and crazier DLC, you know, the w way down the line. And I just heard that they're not even done with all their DLC yet, that they still want to continue doing DLC even after Red Dead Redemption launches. So I thought that was just a little, just kind of cool, you know. So look at this, though. Oh, see this guy. Oh, this guy's in a regular car. Yeah. Oh wait, now. Oh, that's right. Can we see? Can we do a wheelie on this? Sure can. It's not a big wheel. It's not like a long wheelie that you can keep. But it's a wheelie. Oh, and I died from that. Amazing. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna end the video right here. That is. It, I just showed off the brand new adversary mode, uh, deadline, as well as the Shitaro motorcycle, also known as the Tron bike. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like as well as subscribe for more videos like this. This is your boy Nate Gaming, and I will see you guys in my next video.